All right, so like I was saying, the butter chicken at this place is phenomenal, all right? We should go there for lunch. What do you think? Butter chicken? What's that? Like butter and chicken? No. It's chicken and butter. That sounds too weird. Forget that. Let's go to Christina's. Their zucchini tower is amazing. Way better than any buttery chicken. You know what? Sherry Punjab is top tier, all right? Nothing compares. Look, let's stop all this arguing here, you know? Like, uh, Cote de Boeuf. There's a restaurant. That's the obvious choice that we should be going for right now. Cote de what now? What do they even serve there? They have this amazing assiette mix. It's a mixed charcuterie and cheese board. And it, their braised beef sandwich, it's superb. You know, this is a place for meat lovers. Classy meat lovers. I didn't understand half of what you said, and I'm pretty sure you didn't either. I can't pronounce the name. Can you? You guys could use a little class in your lives. Listen, your boy's got class. Your boy's got nothing but class. And Christina's is classy. It's the best restaurant on the entire dance floor. I don't know about that. Sherry Punjab is the best. It's the best. How can you say that when you've never even been there? I'll tell you why. Today, I'm going to go to Christina's and see what it's all about. And we'll decide whose is better. To make this fair, you should go to Cote de Boeuf and try that out. I think you'd actually like that. I guess it's worth a try. You know, this is the game plan. We're going to go to each other's restaurants, and we're each going to try something new today. All right. Nah, I'm out. The boys got plans. I guess I'm off to try some asset mix. Asiete mix. It's, it's pretty simple. Let's go. I'm here at Sherry Punjab on the Danforth, just near Broadview. Now a lot of the bozos I know, they've been telling me this is the best Indian food in Toronto. I'm a guy who likes to see it to believe it. So let's check it out. So can you tell me a little bit about the history of Sherry Punjab? Sure, well uh, it was started in 1975 by my grandparents. They'd uh, first gone to England and then came here to Canada and opened it up three doors down and then ten years later came to this uh, location. So all the recipes are my grandmother's recipes that were passed down from her mother and her great-grandmother and so on and so forth. So all of them are authentically from the Punjab, the northern part of India, and we've kept it alive as, as it is, as it was back home, you know. Uh, the community really changed, especially in this neighborhood. I mean, Toronto was such a fledgling city. Uh, even just 42 years ago in 1975 and the community changed, the neighborhood really changed and it's become more welcoming. Um, is there any dish you would say is uh, the signature dish of the restaurant? Definitely our butter chicken, lamb right. sog's really good, our tandoori chicken, uh, we've got a tandoor oven that we've brought from India so it's really an authentic, authentic taste. Uh, it's really amazing, you can taste it, the difference, so Anything that comes out of there is amazing. Right here we have the world famous butter chicken I've heard so much about. A rich mixture of garlic, spices, onion, and of course chicken. This meal is Shuri Punjab's number one seller. Passed down generation to generation, this is authentic as Indian food can get. Time to dig in. Get 
Get a nice piece of chicken in there. All right. Mmm. I'm at a loss for words. This is very good stuff, man. The flavor is very, so I got some on my hand. It's a very strong flavor. You know what you're eating. The, the, the chicken is rich. It falls apart right in your mouth. Nan bread itself. Can't get any better than this, holy. I think you might have a new uh, fan here. I'm gonna be a regular customer. It's your boy, Quentin here. I'm at Christina's Greek and Mediterranean Cuisine Restaurant. Man, I've heard great things about this place. Let's see what they have for me. All right, here we are at Christina's. The place looks amazing, but you know what? I can't wait to try their food. I got high hopes for this place. I got a chance to taste their popular dishes and had a little chat with Sev. All right, so Sev's making the zucchini tower. Uh, I don't know a lot about it, but I know it involves zucchinis stacked. Yeah. It's basically uh, fried zucchini. Fried zucchini. Uh, yeah, what we do, we get a couple of fresh zucchinis, cut them up, thin slices where it comes in. We have here flour. Flour seasoning, salt, oregano, salt, pepper, and... Uh, you gonna bread them? Batter mix, yes. Try one of Christina's signature dishes, calamari and tzatziki sauce. This is tzatziki sauce. It's tzatziki sauce. Yeah. Right. So it's uh, it's yogurt, pressed yogurt. We put garlic, uh, cucumber, and uh, but we don't match the cucumber. We shave it in there. I just wanna. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for making this happen, for giving me this job. After sampling their food, I thought it was time to talk to the owner about what makes Christina's so great. It's very nice to meet you guys. You have a lovely place here, but I, I had a couple a couple questions for you. And uh, the, fir the first one I had, 
is uh, what 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 about Greek and Mediterranean food is so special to you guys? Well, the question, the, the answer is very simple. It's like we've grown up with this this culture that makes it special to us, and we wanna we want to give to all people to understand what Mediterranean cuisine is uh, very famous for for the ingredients, the way we cook the ingredients, and all these things. It's important to us. It's the way we grow up with, and that makes it special to us. It's very nice, and you did a great job. I tasted some of the food. It's fantastic. Calamari is great. Yeah, uh, who's your favorite person on the wall? Από αυτό το δίχο, χωρίς να θέλω να υποτιμήσω κανέναν από αυτό το δίχο, επειδή υπάρχει και μια, θα έλεγα οικογενειακή και φιλική φωτογραφία, αγαπημένη μου, αγαπημένος μου θα έλεγα την αγιός μου. Εκεί. After the interview, we met up with a regular of Christina's, Mary Keane. So I, I, hear, I hear it's your 85th birthday. It is my 85th birthday, and I love Christina's because they're always nice and pleasant, and the ambience is good, the food is excellent. There was just one thing I had to check out before I was done here, belly dancing nights. But be honest, though, you wish you were this good. I won't second guess Sarah's recommendations again. Well, I will, but not today. Hey, it's Sarah, and I'm here at Code the Buff, a French butcher and wine bar, known for its cheeses, meats, and of course, wines. I'm here to figure out why this place is such a gem to the city and why their meat is so damn delicious. The shop's really cute and chic in a way that has definite European influences and smart uses of graphics like the cow on the floor and the mirrors, as well as the chalkboards all over the places. They also have a lot of maps of France, which shows the influence that French actually has, as well as all the French candies around. Let's go find out more. This is the manager of Côte de Buff, Katie. Uh, so, can you tell us a little bit about this place? Is it a shop or a butcher shop or a restaurant? Uh, so we started as a butcher shop um, and we've evolved into becoming a wine bar slash restaurant. Uh, so we work with a lot of artisanal producers, um, do all the butchery here and then serve it to our customers to eat in-house or take home. So what do you think makes the meat so special and tastes so good? The meat um, is probably the best beef in the city. Um, it is all organic and grass-fed. What does Cote de Buff value most when serving its customers? Um, we take a lot of pride, I think, in being like not, not pretentious about what we're serving. We do serve a really high caliber product. Um, I think our price point's really approachable and we try to make sure that no one feels like an idiot when they're asking questions. What is the most popular dish here? The Highest selling and most popular dish is definitely our charcuterie and cheese plate. Uh, so we make a lot of house riettes and trains, um, and then we source a lot of pretty interesting French cheeses. Did you want to try one out? Yeah, yes please. Cool. So, can you tell us what's on the uh, yeah, so this is our mixed charcuterie board that we often serve here at Kotzebue. So at the top here, we have a terrine made with pork and chorizo. This is a smoked duck breast, smoked at the farm with apple wood. Uh, over here is a brie de mot, it's a cow's cheese from France. This is a rosette salami, uh, also from France. This is grey owl goat's cheese with a ash rind from Quebec. This is a pork riette, and pork riette is essentially pork that's been slow cooked and then whipped with duck fat. And then the last cheese we have is bon cher, which is a raw sheep's cheese from Ontario. And we serve it with blackbird 
baguette with cultured butter. I was told that that's the first thing that I should try, so I'm going to do that. A little bit of bread and butter. A little bit of the bread and butter. What's your favorite thing on the dish? Uh, my favorite actually is the smoked duck breast. It's, it's a cross between like bacon and heaven. Thank you so much for the platter today and thank you. for showing all your great products. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. All right, one thing I think we can all agree on is Toronto has some great food to offer. It does. I had the pleasure of eating at Cote de Buff. It had a great charcuterie board with cheese and an even better braised beef sandwich. Char Charwaterie? A charcuterie board. You know, a platter with meat and cheese? Oh, fancy Lunchables. To be honest, I didn't believe you both of those earlier. But I gotta say, I went and checked this place out earlier, and it lives up to its name. Shuri Punjab, the lines of food. I had some butter chicken and naan that was amazing. I had some awesome pakoras. Powerful flavors, very good stuff. Now I want to go back to Christina's. So good. If I if it were up to me, if it were up to me, Tom, I would go there three times a day, every day. All right. Their zucchini tower, their calamari, their saganaki. Oh boy. Well, the one question remains: which restaurant is best? I mean, hands down, go to Buff. All right. I know how to settle this. We'll have a social media vote, okay? <laughs> because we're all hip, right? We're all hip. Go to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you got. Use number sign Quentin Christina's if you think mine was the best. And go pound Tom Shuri Punjab if you want to vote for me. Or hashtag Sarah Kotova. Great. Thank you so much for tuning in to Dish It Out. We love you. Tune in next time.